In 2019, when I joined the business, I made $129.89. Startup cost, 10 grand. I didn't necessarily spend 10 grand in 2019, but that was my budget. I'm already spending $2,226 per year. So I'm already at a loss. Does that make sense? Why am I doing that? 20 to 40 year play. Eventually I profit. Second year made $1,726.42. That is over a 10 X increase. Would you agree? Absolutely. All right. That's 2020, 2021. Currently it's October, 2021. I've made $1,251.56 to date. And my projection model here is to increase revenue by 25% each year. So the goal by the end of this year is to get to $2,158.02. And this is just producing, pro production sales. If someone joins under me in, in the network marketing model in the business, great, I'll work with that person. But my intent is just to sell and educate a great product. I'm not even concerned about the business model of network marketing, recruiting, bonuses, vacations, and free BMW, free Mercedes, and free trip to Maui, and da da da. I don't care none of that. That is all features and benefits that's here and there, that none of that's guaranteed. The only thing that is guaranteed in my eyes in a compensation plan is whatever the commission rate is on when I sell the product, not when I recruit. There's no guarantee that you're gonna recruit people, but there is a guarantee that when you sell a product, you're gonna get paid, right? That's in, in the very beginning. When you recruit someone in the business, you may not necessarily make money because they need to do work in order for you to get paid, right? There may be a bonus or something, but that's here or there, and that can change. That's subject to change. And you'll see that description under every compensation plan with every network marketing company. They'll say compensation plans are subject to change at any point without any notice of approval from you or anyone in the business. So that's why I don't even look at none of that stuff. Vacations, trip to Maui, ba ba ba, free BMW, free Chrysler. That's hype to me. None of that is guaranteed. Just show me how much money can I make commission wise, percentage wise, when I sell this product. That's all I care about. So three year should end the year 2158.02. And then let's just go year by year. How long does it take to become a millionaire, right? So just growing at 25%, there's going to be years where I jump by 50 or do 10, you know, but the average growing by 25% is what I laid out for myself. Year four, 2,069,752. Year five, 337,371. Year six, revenue, 4,214. Year seven, 5,268, 6,500, 8,000. And in my notes here, the year that I would have made my first six figures would be by year 20. No, it would be by year 2038, right? So let's do the math. 2038 minus 2019 is when I joined the bit. Yeah. So by year 19, I would have made just under 100K by 2038, right? would have made that much money, six figures. And then by year 31, I'm generating 1.15 million, right? 1,115,662.59 in revenue. This is a long term play. This business, Legal Shield, they've been in business for 50 years. I don't think they're going anywhere, right? So they've already proven their proof of concept, been in business for 50 years, they got a great product, just like any business, they've got pros and cons. They've got their fair share of bad reviews, their fair share of, of, of fines and bad experiences. And just to provide even more transparency, there's a couple of YouTube channels that you can check out. One is called like Illuminati, but spelt weird. Um, and it's got over a million subscribers. And that person, it's a woman, she did a uh, review on the legal shield company it's a negative review right so you can check that out you can look at the good the bad and the ugly for the most part i've been sharing like the good but in a very transparent way like realistically you know the reality is with network marketing like 95 percent or more fail in network marketing why 
because they quit the first year, the second year, the third year, the fourth year, the fifth year. I told you seven to 10 year projection is what you should have in mind to actually stay in that business and not jump from comp plan to the next comp plan to the next comp plan and fall into that hype, you know? And it's very hard to not fall into the hype, you know? Free Chrysler, pay your BMW payment, uh, we pay your house off, we, you know, trips all year round. It, nobody talks about work. <laughs> hey, you gotta work to get that, right? No, one, no one's really talking, all you gotta do is recruit two who, two who bring two who bring two and they bring two two and that, and it's a two two. You look like a two two, you know, like what, what's going on? So the reality is that 95% fail. Most people don't make more than a thousand, five thousand bucks per year in the company. And typically when you hear the success stories of the people in network marketing at the highest level, most of them are recruiters. They're all recruiters. Very few are straight up producers with a little bit of recruiting where they focus more on producing the product, selling the product, than recruiting the opportunity, the dream, the illusion, okay? So the way that I've been talking, it's a love-hate relationship in regards to network marketing. I love network marketing because of the business model and the opportunities that are there. And then sometimes I really hate it. You know, hate's a strong word, but I really dislike some of the practices because that industry could improve so much, just like the life insurance industry. There are so many ways that, that we can improve as insurance agents and network marketers that we're just not tapping into the opportunity. And therefore we look like a bunch of schmucks, right? That are just selling, we get that commission breath. It's horrible. I don't like it. And I call people out, you know, in the network marketing. I'm like, dude, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? I've got a, I've got a very functional, lively business here. And you're trying to tell me that network marketing is the only way to go. Dude, I'm having success right here. Why would I join you for $20 to earn $2 commission on a product? Like, come on, like, just, just be open, honest, and transparent with me. Give me all the facts. Give me the good, the bad, the ugly and I'll make a decision. So that's my goal. Like I said, while I'm presenting this, I wanna give you the good, I wanna give you the bad, I wanna give you the ugly. So the ugly on Legal Shield, you go, you look up, you can look up Legal Shield is a scam, right? You can look that up. That'll probably populate some very um, negative review videos. You can type in Legal Shield reviews. Those can be a little more transparent. And there's one YouTube channel called Illuminati. I don't even know how to spell it, but you'll know you're at the right place because the logo is like a pyramid with an eye. And then they've got 1 million or more subscribers and they have one video on Legal Shield. Pretty transparent, you know, very, very like, I wanna say for the most part, there was like, I, I think a lot of facts in there, maybe maybe not all facts. And then mostly, you know, you're, you're listening from a very biased anti MLM type of a person where they just, they believe all network marketing uh, companies are bad. But again, it's good to hear from that side and then hear from the pro network marketing people and then kind of like in between. So me, I'm in between.